The Prime Minister, Julia Gillard, has raised the possibility of diverting money used to fight people smuggling to pay countries in the region to develop a processing centre for asylum seekers. The processing centre was discussed during talks with the Indonesian President, Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono, in Jakarta today. Indonesia's president didn't dismiss the idea, but says there needs to be more discussion before his government can say whether it'll support the proposal or not. And they've agreed to hold formal talks on the issue next year. Indonesia correspondent Matt Brown reports. Julia Gillard arrived at the presidential palace just as two more boats carrying asylum seekers arrived off Christmas Island. The passengers on board, 142 more reasons to press her case for a regional processing centre for asylum seekers. And today, Ms Gillard left open the prospect that Australia would use anti-people smuggling funds to pay regional partners to be part of the plan. If there is a better way through a regional protection framework and regional processing centre to deploy those resources, then of course we will work through on that. The President remains interested but unconvinced deferring the issue to a regional meeting to be held next year. Indonesia is open to that, but we have to discuss uh, in depth to ensure once again that this is a solution. There are more than 2,400 asylum seekers currently registered in Indonesia, many living in the back blocks of Jakarta. Around 850 more, like Khadija and her family, are acknowledged refugees. If you want to go to one country, any country, for me, can I working? This okay. My children go to school. This okay. After an ugly run-in with people smugglers who brought them here from Malaysia, Kadicha's family pulled out of making the final trip to Australia. In Indonesia, this was supposed to be a breakthrough year for refugees who rely on the system, not the smugglers. But Australia's been slow to deliver on a significant commitment. Australia agreed to take 500 refugees a year from Indonesia. It was a dramatic boost, but so far just 52 have been accepted. If the government meets its target, more than half of the refugees currently living in Indonesia will suddenly be picked up and moved to Australia. Because of Another who might, one way or the other, find their way to Australia is convicted marijuana smuggler Chappelle Corby. While her plea for the president's mercy is yet to reach his desk, Julia Gillard pressed her case behind closed doors. I don't believe it's in Chappelle Corby's interest for me to deal with this matter in a detailed way publicly. A Supreme Court judge has recommended a substantial cut to Chappelle Corby's 20-year jail term. Today, the president didn't rule out clemency. Justice must be upheld. This is a line, humanitarian aspect to be put into consideration. But he also emphasised Corby's ability to earn time off for good behaviour and possibly benefit from his new push for a prisoner transfer agreement with Australia. Another touchy subject, human rights abuse by Indonesia's military, also came to the fore on this trip after troops were videoed torturing detainees in Papua. Local activists urged Julia Gillard to take up the issue. But the president says there's no need for foreign intervention and Ms Gillard seemed satisfied with his response. I think uh, the support from uh, Gillard from, uh, for, for Indonesia to do a proper human rights respect and human rights uh, promotion, that will give a, lot of, uh, give, a, give a lot of value for Indonesian situation on human rights, I think. A spokesperson for the Prime Minister says the issue was discussed with the President, but it wasn't mentioned in the press conference after the meeting. Matt Brown, Late Line.